So uh, the next thing I will be showing up is uh, when you click here on the setting buttons, There's a, there are a couple of uh, settings that you can play, play with. Uh, first one is uh, called field of view. Field of view will be uh, like a wide angle on a camera, for example. So uh, you stay in the same position, but you just get to see a wider, um, a wider portion of your drawing. Uh, so I'll just play with it like that. So what you see is that uh, if I do that, it really wides, uh, widen up the angle of uh, what you're seeing, seeing every, like everything at the same time. It will be uh, very useful if you uh, have to deal with uh, like a tighter space, uh, a smaller kitchen, or uh, if you're in a space with a wall behind you. Otherwise, I always try to keep it as, uh, as natural as possible. Then uh, you have the bloom. Uh, the bloom is pretty much... Um, it's very simple uh, you know it's it's just adding a blooming effect to everything that will be, be that will be bright inside your project so if i crank it up so that you can see everything that is bright will be emitting some kind of a, like a, a fog for example and then the threshold is uh, what will be affected by uh, that blooming option so if i go on the right you'll see that nothing will be affected by affected by the bloom and if i go on on the uh, left side now everything uh, gets bloomed so it's just a matter of again of uh, finding exactly what you like uh, i i always think that the bloom uh, really adds a little bit of a dreamy feeling to uh, your project so it's uh, it's very nice like that then um, the other thing here is uh, called the sun shafts uh, sun shafts are a visual effect or a camera effect that uh, if you look at the sun coming in from the window for example and here what i'll do i'll just crank the viewing intensity and so you can see uh, like that, the angle. So what happens is that if I look in a different directions, uh, I'll only be seeing it. So again, you know, it's just a matter of, of picking exactly uh, when and how much you want to see it like that. This effect will uh, give you great results, uh, especially in the video walkthrough when the camera turns over and uh, sees a sun shaft uh, in the window, um, it, it's really nice. Uh, vignetting is adding a darker area all, uh, all around your, uh, your screen. So again, if I, if I crank it up to the maximum, um, you will see uh, the result like that. Then uh, you also have uh, the edge detection. Edge detection will add uh, edge detection on everything inside your project. Again, you can uh, play with the depth sensi sensitivity as well and the angle sensitivity to uh, make those lines appear um, darker or uh, be less apparent. In this case, what I'll do, and you can also play with the background visibility. So it will uh, basically just bring back your drawing to like a, a white, uh, all white drawing. Then uh, one of uh, the last feature in uh, inside this screen is a skybox. Skybox is really an image that will be showing up uh, behind your window. So we have a couple of choices there and uh, probably we'll be adding more as time comes. So in this case, I'll just go with the evening, evening uh, sky. Um, you'll also notice that the sun will be affected by uh, the skybox that you use. Um, in this case, as you can see, like the sun is kind of making uh, is way through uh, the trees like that. If I go back on the same screen, you can also play with a skybox, uh, skybox rotation like that and decide exactly which side of the skybox you want to use in this case. And you can also play with a skybox exposure, uh, making it uh, lighter or darker depending on the image like that.